Yo, what's cracking everybody? It's Steve here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a cracker of a card trick for you today. And um, the cool thing about it is the magician doesn't touch anything. It's all the spectator doing the entire trick. So here's how it goes down. The magician asks the spectator to pick up the box. They take the cards from the box, just like so. And then they are to shuffle them, just a quick little shuffle. They have to put the cards on the table and give them a cut. They can cut anywhere they like. Now, from here you say, this is where you've cut, and this is their selection, the six of hearts. The magician asks the spectator now to check the rest of them and make sure there's no other six of hearts. And they'll see that there isn't. There's no other six of hearts there. From here, their eyes are drawn to the envelope. And you talk to the spectator and say, look, you shuffled the cards, you cut to the six of hearts. I've put something inside this envelope and you obviously don't pick it up. The spectator does all this and you say to them, look, what are the chances that that card matches your card that you've selected? They take it out and of course you get a thunderous applause and it matches perfectly. Now let's see how that's done. Okay, so here is the explanation to this incredible card trick. Now before I start, I should say that I did not create this card trick. And I actually saw a trick online called, I think it's called the trick that can be explained. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I've already got a method for it. So this is the way that I do it. I've never purchased the trick. So however that one works, great. It's probably similar. However, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So what you need is a pack of cards. I always use blue and you'll see why shortly. You wanna get a red card that matches the force card so this is the force card here and just get a matching red one you don't have to use red it just looks nice when you reveal it an envelope which the reveal card goes inside and that will just stay there to the side and you need a sharpie now why do you need a sharpie well, this is why so i'll get another card out just so i can do a bit of a comparison for you and so you'll see here on bicycle cards especially um, I've put a little black dot here and you can see there's no black dot on that one there. Okay, so the black dot here, there. Take the Sharpie, put a little black dot in the center there. Now trust me, spectators are not going to see it. And the reason I use blue is because it's less obvious. It kind of blends into um, the card. And so once that is done, uh, you want to create, yes, this is a breather crimp. Um, if you're an experienced magician or you watch my channel, you know I've used this before. The breather crimp is quite a ingenious gimmick. A very old method, um, and this is what it does. So it's, the card's been manipulated, and I'll show you how to create one of these in a second. You don't need anything but your fingers to make it. Um, so if I put this force card, the six of hearts, there, all I have to do is just reach over, and I'll be able to cut perfectly to it. That's what it enables you to do. So here's how to make it. What you want to do is take the force card and you want to keep it face up. And you want to take your fingers like this, like little, little pinches there, and you want to pinch out towards the corner, a bit of pressure, and a bit of pressure going down here. And when you turn it face down, you see it's kind of a little pyramid. And what you do from here is you just place the card on the bottom of the pack. And that's it, you're ready to go. So let's place these inside the box and hide the Sharpie in your pocket. Remember this is all set up beforehand and then you are ready to go with the main routine. Now, just a little, um, a little comment as well. This is about a 70% hit rate that the spectator is gonna cut to their card the first time. So just keep that in mind. It does take a lot of um, audience control and a bit of practice. So practice on your own first so that you understand how the trick works. And then if you've got a partner or a friend or something, um, practice on them as well. So here's what you do. You ask them to take the cards out of the box, keeping in mind the force card is on the bottom. You don't pay or draw any attention to it. And then here's the important first management uh, of your audience here. You want to tell them to give the cards a quick shuffle. Now, I always say give the cards a quick shuffle and do the actions because you want them to be doing an overhand shuffle. And so here's the timing. As soon as I see them to start shuffling, as they go like this, one, two, 
once they get there, I always say, okay, put them on the table. The reason being is because I kind of want them to shuffle the card. So that's the crimp card there, as you can see. I want them to shuffle it towards the middle because when they go over and pick cards up, most people will cut around halfway. And so it doesn't matter if it's not halfway or not because the crimp will help you pick it up. But that's where I want to manage um, my audience to shuffle them, right there. And so I'll teach you an out at the moment if this doesn't happen. So once the cards are here, you um, instruct your spectators to pick up, um, just pick up some cards like so. As they do that, this is why you've got the black dot. You immediately look and see if there's a black dot there. If there is, you know they've cut exactly to the force card. Okay. So just from here, you say, look, just pick up, um, pick up around halfway and they'll pick up cards and look, it is right there again. Another little tip as well is you just say Gent gently, because if they pick them up and put pressure, you're never really going to get that crimp card because if you practice on your own now, you'll notice that if you pick the cards up gently, you'll get to the force card. So you want to use that same principle with your spectator. You want to say, just pick up gently around half of the cards there. And look, they'll cut right to that point. And then you explain to them, look, I want you to look through the rest of the cards. Make sure there's no other six of hearts in there, which there isn't, obviously. And then you do your big reveal, um, however you want to reveal it too, with the six of hearts in the envelope. Now, here are the outs. So let's start this all over again. What if the spectator doesn't listen when you say give it a quick shuffle and they just keep shuffling like this? You know, if they just keep going. Well, that's all good because what you want to do there is you want to get the spectator to cut the cards on the table again and just place them on top. Because what happens is when the spectator has started again, shuffles the cards a lot you want to be watching what they're doing and so if they keep going like this you know that that force card is now at the top okay you can see it there so i'll show you again this is so important that you watch exactly how the spectator is shuffling especially if they start going like this you want to make sure you're focused on where that bottom portion of the pack is so if they start shuffling you watch exactly where that force card lands. We know it's now on the top. Now, what if they start shuffling again? So you can see the force card there, the little break. What if they start shuffling again? You know, as soon as they peel that top half off, you know they've just thrown it down the bottom. Okay, so there's the force card down the bottom there. So, you, once they put the cards on the table, you just say, now I want you to cut the cards in half and complete the cut. And you've just geniusly got them to cut that force card towards the model towards the middle sorry it's more towards the top just above the middle but um, you see you get the gist so I'm gonna do that one more time with you um, so the force card we'll put that on the bottom now you want to tell them to um, give the cards a shuffle start with that on the bottom now you want to watch exactly where the bottom part of the pack goes so they start shuffling. Most people will shuffle it more than two times. And so once they do it there, you know the force cards on the top. And so you get them to shuffle again. Now you gotta watch it. Every scenario is different. So if it does end up there and they're done, that's fine. Just get them to cut again. Just say, just do a cut and now you've got it um, towards the middle there. Okay, so those are the outs. It's all about managing your audience. It's really, really important. And then from there, you just get them to cut gently. Remember, you've got to say gently. Just say, I want you to cut gently towards the middle of the pack. As they do, you say, you've chosen the six of hearts. That's where you cut. And then we go here, get them to pick up the envelope. They can do all the work. You don't have to do anything. And say, look, you could have shuffled the cards and cut anywhere. There's no other six of hearts at all in the pack. Yet somehow, you cut exactly to the card that I had in the envelope and they just go bonkers because it's kind of impossible. Like legit, how that's not even possible. 
but it is when you have a little breather grip like this. So have a lot of fun with it. Rewatch this tutorial if you've missed anything. Remember with the shuffling of the cards and the spectator shuffles them because you're not shuffling. You've got to watch how they're shuffling. You've got to manage it really, really carefully. And so make sure if they're shuffling a lot like this, you know that force card's at the top now. And if it does end up there and they put it on the table, fine. Just get them to cut the cards in half, complete the cut, bang, you've just put it towards the middle. All right, enjoy that one. Well, that's all we've got time for today. So thank you very much for tuning in and stopping by. Sorry, it's been a minute. I will be back next time. Look after yourself, stay in lockdown, stay home, saves lives. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.